Thanks for stopping by FixMyRecipe.com. I'm Chef Billy Parisi. Our new fix goes to Mark of Columbia, Missouri. Pizza dough says it's sticky, it's just not rising, all sorts of problems. Don't worry, Mark, we got you covered. Mark, first things first, let's add in our AP flour. Kind of chill it too, I actually leave it in the refrigerator right before I make it. Add in our yeast. And our salt, of course, getting a little flavor from that. And we are gonna put it right on our mixer. All right, Mark, we just want our dry ingredients to be combined. Now we're gonna slowly add in our extra virgin olive oil and our very cold water. Mark, you can mix this by hand or in a mixer. I just figured since so many people have KitchenAids these days, we're gonna use this. After it is combined using the paddle, we're gonna take it off and use this hook and further beat it for another five to seven minutes. After beating that dough for about six minutes using that hook, what we're gonna do is we're gonna olive oil up a plastic bag, put it inside, let that yeast get a chance to breathe. Keep it in a dry, warm place. What better place than the microwave? Don't forget, leave it off. As you can see, Mark, our dough has definitely expanded. It's about twice the size it was before we put it in there. We only need probably half of this dough, so we can put the other half in a Ziploc and hold it either in the freezer or the fridge. Depends when you want to eat it. Just want to work it just a little bit. It has been in that bag for almost an hour. But you can just see, I mean, this stuff is just really stretchy. It's awesome. All right, Mark, you can see that our Dough is nice and circular, it's nice and flat, but it needs to stretch a little farther. Now, it's been a while since I've done what I'm about to do, and uh, let's see if I can do it. Hopefully, uh, make my grandparents proud from the motherland. All right, are you ready? You just want to stretch it out. There we go. Ah, see? Perfect. You don't need to go really any farther than that. You can see it sort of stretches out beautifully when you do that. Pizza's not about beautiful shapes at, by any means. But look, look how nice that's stretched. Really simple, really quick. Now, we are gonna par-bake this before you uh, make your pizza. So, let's do 425, about 10 or 15 minutes. Don't forget to lay some cornmeal down. Alright Mark, it really only takes 10 minutes on 425 to par-bake our crust. Notice it isn't brown, but after you put your sauce and your cheese and your tomato sauce, it's going to be perfect. Also notice it did rise, and a big contributor to that is the yeast. Throw that baking powder away, try using yeast, it's going to be just perfect for you. Mark, thanks for writing in, we really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this crust as much as I do. I'm going to make a quick pizza and I'm going to tear this thing apart. Be sure to come back tomorrow and check out our new featured fix of the day.